the discovery of Brazil. The first people to occupy present-day Brazil were indigenous tribes originally from Asia that had migrated over the Bering Strait thousands of years before European settlers had arrived. The first recorded European to arrive in Brazil was Vicente Yanis Pinson on January 26, 1500 a Spaniard that had sailed with Christopher Columbus on his first journey to the Americas. The Portuguese navigator Pedro Alvarez Cabral, after having been blown off course on his way to India, spotted Mount Pascual where he landed in the present-day state of Bahia. Cabral officially declared the new territory a colony of the Portuguese Empire on April 22, 1500. The first Catholic Mass was held on Easter Sunday on the 26th of April, where a cross was placed on Coroa Vermelha Beach in Porto Seguro, Bahia. This significant event had an enormous impact on the history of Brazil, which has the largest Catholic population in the world today. This video being played exhibits a replica of a sailing vessel of that time in Brazil's history, armed with cannons and bearing the flag that represented Portugal at sea. We are now going to take a look into the belly of the ship where you see barrels of fresh water, large sacks of grain, pottery, and stones used for ballast. The stones would serve for the first leg of the journey to stabilize the vessel, later to be discarded and replaced with the bounty from the expedition. From here we leave the sailing vessel to see more of how life would have been at the time of arrival by the first settlers in Brazil. This is a native shelter being constructed with timbers and palm leaves used for roofing. As we enter the Museum of the Memorial of the Epic of Discovery, we have a look at the interior of a native shelter at that time in Brazil's history, with baskets and wooden spears which were used for hunting and to defend from warring tribes. Further into the tour, we find various depictions done by local artists of how life would have greeted the Portuguese sailors. This is a map of Brazil in the epic of the colonization of Latin America. Here we have another art piece with Cabral making landfall to the amazement of the original inhabitants, the Patecho. The spreading of the Christian message was only one of the goals of the Portuguese Empire. The name of the country Brazil is believed to originate from a tree named Pau Brazil, known for its color and found to make a prized red dye. The Portuguese took it upon themselves in their minds to civilize the natives, but unknowingly and unfortunately introduced diseases that ultimately decimated the majority of the local inhabitants. Pedro Alvarez Cabral lived from 1467 to 1520 and was chosen by King Manuel I of Portugal for his personal qualities. Cabral commanded the largest and richest armada by Portugal up to that time, composed of 13 ships. His principal objective was to establish commercial relations and diplomats in Calcutta, India, as well as factories in the Orient. This short video gives us an idea of what life was like at this time of history of the place we now call the country of Brazil. You can find this treasure of Brazilian history just outside of the tourist city of Porto Seguro in the state of Bahia in Brazil at the Memorial of the Epic Discovery.